That's me, Jim Toos. I've been a working stand-up comic for almost five years now, but you've never heard of me because I'm stuck at the bottom. I'm the opener. I wanted to get some stage time while I was in Los Angeles, and that's not an easy thing to do, so I figured I'd have to call in a favor. So I talked to my friends Chris and David Walsh, the Walsh brothers. They run a show at the Improv Comedy Lab on Thursdays. I call them up. I say, hey, I'm in town. Can I get on your show? They said, sure. Simple as that. Thanks for doing this, David. It was uh, cool. Anytime, yeah. Jim. We wanted you to know what it felt like to have your name up on the marquee when you finally do the show. You mean like, uh, when you said when, like not tonight? No, no, not, not tonight. 2011 is the first opening we have actually. It was the first availability. Like three years from now? Whoa, three years is a long time to wait for a show. But at least I'll have three years to develop some more material. And if I buy my flight now, it'll probably be really, really cheap. Yeah, this is a hip happening show. This is a really classy show. There aren't a lot of dick jokes. Uh, we write everything. Nobody's allowed to uh, to abuse the audience. We don't go into the what, audience. What was that? Oh, that was a naked yeti, the mythical creature, kind of like Sasquatch. Was it kind of blurry? You don't really see that. James, you can change the sign now. No. Well, I guess that's Hollywood. One minute you're riding high, doing well for yourself. Your name's on a sign. Then you see a naked man. Then one guy tells another guy to take your name off the sign, and you're back to square one. But it feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it, uh, it feels pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't that feel really good? It gives you a good feeling in your loins. That's why some people get into this business, just to see their name up in lights. Some people. It actually looks better. 